Okay, so believe it or not guys, this thing was made by Rafał for $250. It is an e-bike and it has actually a huge battery. The, what is the range here? Uh, 130 kilometers. 130 kilometers for $250. Yes, it's possible. <laughs> we have a huge battery pack here and I was just talking with with Rafa, it's from uh, it's three separate units, right? Yes. And uh, so, where are they from? Mm, two two batteries are from electric uh, scooter. Uh, they are 8.8 .8 amp hours. In total, is 17.45. <laughs> okay, amp hours. <laughs> Second battery is from e bike. It's 13 uh, amp hours, 36 volts. Every battery is uh, 10s. So 36 uh, volts, 36 yeah. volt. and uh, the last one is 4.4 amp hours. It's from hoverboard battery. <laughs> so we have three batteries in here, like three units, yeah. and it has a total. Um, the battery capacity is 36 volts and what? 35? Yeah, 35. And volts. 35 amp hours. So <laughs> you can see it in watt hours, and this is All like. One this is more than a like 010x scooter this is more than most e-bikes for two and a half thousand dollars not 250 dollars so this is not really a pimp my pv this is a diy build so um rafael has bought uh, the e-bike i mean the bike frame uh, it's, it's for vintage, 30 dollars yes it's a vintage uh, bike from romet polish company Flaming or something like that. <laughs> it's a flaming, yeah. But actually, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, it it, it doesn't really break, but <laughs> it, it has new mud guards. <laughs> it has new mud guards. Oh, that's why it good, looks good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and he and Rafa is really like a aficionado or a lover of uh, electric vehicles. He actually took this thing from Warsaw to Łódź, which, which is 130 kilometers. Yes just uh, on an e-bike uh, uh, living place to which fabric <laughs> yeah it's uh, 130 kilometers away which is absolutely insane uh you have to love these kind of builds to to make these trips and love the trips as well yes yes soon we will also make a video about a electric scooter converted from an electric unicycle but this will happen in the future but uh, let's talk more about this this thing so uh, how much did you pay for the controller it was uh, $12. $12 for the controller. How much did you pay for the uh, motor? It was about $20. twenty dollars <laughs> uh, This uh, motor came from Holland e-bike. Uh, 250 watt uh, Sparta. Okay. Sparta e-bike. And what is, you know, the top speed of it? Mm, 32 kilometers per hour. So isn't good for drifting anything like that no it, it's not really like the most uh, performance you can get out of it but for yeah, sure the but, most but the range. range is the, my goal yeah this build 
and uh, overall uh, portability. It's small. I can uh, get it to train to bus without any problem. But this e-bike doesn't fold, unfortunately, because of this battery. Yeah, so here you can see there is the on-off switch, yes. which is really uh, nifty. When you uh, shift it in the right direction, you can uh, see but the voltage. Oh yeah, here's the voltage. That's, yes, that's yes. awesome. 41.5, it's fully charged, pretty yes. much. Uh, when you shift this left, mm -hmm. you have the lights. <laughs> nice. Okay, it has a light. And three and front and rear. Front and rear. Look, that's the most modern thing in this e-bike. Yes. Nice. Really comfy chair as well. Like yes. saddle. I mean, I and love it. It has also buzzer. Nice. Super loud. I think it's in this one, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. So. And a mirror. <laughs> and a mirror as well. So you know. <laughs> this is something that it's, it's you don't get this in every yes. e-bike, right? Yes. <laughs> so in my construction it's standard. It must be standard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know you can build a e-bike for $250 as you can see here. Maybe you know the battery casing uh, will be made out of duct this... duct tape, but <laughs> it, it still goes and it has a much much superior range than a lot, a lot of e-bikes on the market. Yes. Yeah, and in, in addition, you can uh, charge it faster. Mm -hmm. For example, with 10 amp charger, so it could uh, charge in about three hours. Now it charges with four amp charger in about eight, seven, eight hours. Or you can uh, add the, the additional battery <laughs> for more range. Which is amazing. I mean, even a Xiaomi N365 is more expensive than that, but the M365 has a battery that is like one fourth or one third yeah. of this battery. Let's see how it does. Yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. And stop. <laughs> <laughs> this motor isn't designed for torque. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's let's maybe go back. <laughs> it's a big hill. And do you do these things like at home or do you have a garage for it? No, or? no, I did it uh, in my home. And so. how do you come up with these things? How do you like connect all the stuff and select the right thing? It's easy. <laughs> so if someone wanted to make a e-bike for $250, what would you say to them? You must uh, search on the internet on the e-bike blogs. Like my, my advice. Yeah, like you. endless sphere. Yes, of... yes or poyazdelektryczne.org If you know Polish? Yes. And Surprisingly, the e-bike actually has like pretty much no sound at all. It's pretty silent. So why is it so silent? It has sine wave controller. Okay, so it's not a square controller like in yes, most scooters. Uh, so sine wave controller is very efficient one. It has very good energy transmission. Nice. But it's in the wrong way proof. It's wrong way proof. No, no, it's not wrong way proof. <laughs> <laughs> is it rain proof? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's nice. It doesn't uh, spray you with smart guards and electronic are safe and the battery. And this is, by the way, the speaker in the middle, if you want oh. to ask him. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the built-in speaker. Pretty much as loud as my MSS. Yes, <laughs> I got <quite> it. <laughs> if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. <laughs>